Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome LibriVoxers and everyone else who might be interested in using Audacity for voice recording. Um, I am here making a video on the punch and roll feature in the newer versions of Audacity. If you've never used this, I really recommend at least give it a try. Um, I've found it to be immensely helpful. Uh, what punch and roll does is it cuts out your mistakes that you make as you're recording so that you don't have to go back later, play it back, and cut them all out manually. Um, punch and roll is uh, the default keyboard shortcut for it is shift D. You can change that sh keyboard shortcut and I have done so, uh, but I'm not going to go into how to do that here because it's been done elsewhere. If you need to know how to do keyboard shortcuts, go watch Phil Chenevere's video. He's the one that taught me and it's really helpful. Um, so, but I'm just gonna focus on punch and roll. So I'm not gonna, not gonna worry about that. All right, so to use punch and roll, you just begin recording as usual. I'm using our one minute test text as my sample. People were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple of pages for Fable fans at LibriVox. Thankful that this was the end of the month. Wait, that's not what it says. Okay, so you mess up, and then when you do that, you're going to stop your recording. Um, you could go up here with the cursor and hit this little stop button. Um, I have also set that as a keyboard shortcut, so I don't have to move my mouse. Um, just an extra tidbit. You can do that if you like. So you stop your recording. You put your cursor right before where you messed up or you know, maybe right after the last good take that you had if that's what you want to do. Uh, I'm going to put mine right here. And then when you hit your keyboard shortcut, remember the default is Shift D or whatever you've set it to, what's going to happen is Audacity is going to automatically go back five seconds. So we're at about, we're at about seven and a half. Audacity is going to start right here at two and a half. It's going to play this much for me. And then when it comes up to this cursor, it's going to automatically start recording again. Peter Piper had picked a couple of pages for Fable fans at LibriVox. Thankful that this was Thursday the 30th, the Piper anticipated forum fun and a wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test. This is only a test. Had it been an actual emergency, no. So I messed up again. I'm going to stop. I'm going to put my cursor right here. And a wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test. This is only a test. Had it been an actual labradoodle... Oh. I guess I deviated from the text over here also, didn't I? So let me go back there and redo that. The Piper anticipated forum fun and a wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test by Devora Allen. Had it been an actual Labradoodle, I said Labradoodle again. Wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test by Devora Allen. Had it been an actual LibriVox contribution, it would have been a public domain text, previously published and probably interesting. And then you stop your recording. Now, the benefit of this, you notice it didn't really take much longer for me to stop and pick up again. Um, really, the longest time it took was to tell you what I was about to do. Because you stop it, you hit your keyboard shortcut, and it just rolls. You lose five seconds each time you do that because it's replaying the last five seconds you recorded. Other than that, you're not losing any time in the recording phase. And you're saving a lot of time in the editing phase. Because then what you can do, um, we'll run, s no, I'm not going to bother with noise reduction. Um, then what you can do is you can actually just go back and listen to the whole thing if you like. Um, people were pleased to find that Peter Piper had picked a couple of pages for Fable fans at LibriVox. Thankful that this was Thursday the 30th, the Piper anticipated forum fun and a wonderful weekend of recording. This is a test by Devorah Allen. 
Had it been an actual LibriVox contribution, it would have been a public domain text, previously published and probably interesting. So there you have it. My edits, uh, my, my mistakes in there are gone. They've automatically been deleted and replaced by the good takes. Um, so if you like, you're going to be saving so much time through not having to cut out all your mistakes manually that you may wish to take the time to listen through your whole recording again and, um, you know, maybe do any little tweaks or anything. For instance, this one right here. This is a test by Devorah Allen. Had it been an actual libra... Uh, that pause that I left there, I actually left that intentionally just to show you. Um, but if you hear something odd like that, you're like, oh, I waited too long right there. Um, well, then you can just go ahead and cut that out. This is a test by Devorah Allen. Had it been an actual libra... And you can just fix that. This is a test by Devorah Allen. Had it been an actual lib... So if you like, you can do little small edits like that, um, but you won't have to edit your whole entire thing and cut out all of your mistakes. They're already gone. Um, the other thing is you see these two bars here. These are markers for where I, um, where I made a cut, where I did the punch and roll. I stopped recording, started again. Um, so you should have these bars show up at each spot that you did the punch and roll, and that will make it very easy to go back and find those spots if you just want to listen to your transition spots and maybe just firm those up. Um, I say you should have bars there because if you remember, I did another one right around here, and I don't have a bar there. Weekend of recording. This is a test by Devorah Allen. Yeah. I did another punch and roll right here, and for some reason I lost my bar. Um, I'm not sure if that is a problem in Audacity itself, or if that's something that's just been happening with me. Um, but I, I, notice, I noticed that has been happening on mine recently. Um, so, then once you've done that, you don't have any mistakes to cut out, you can do your noise reduction, or whatever other kind of post-processing you need to do. I like to use the declicker, whatever. Um, run that on your file and you're good to go. So it takes maybe a little bit longer to record. You do have to stop and start, but you're gonna be stop and start, stopping and starting anyway whenever you mess up. So this way you save so much time in editing. Um, I believe I'm beginning to repeat myself, so I'm gonna end this here. Uh, please let me know if you would like any uh, maybe follow up to this or if you have any questions um of course those of you on librivox which is the only audience i'm expecting will be able to uh message me through there so um i am devora allen my forum name is mighty felix and i hope to see you around the forums